Hey there, Kinetica's integration with ChatGPT allows you to have a sophisticated analytical conversation with your data in plain English, no matter the scale. This short video will show you how to use and configure this integration. Workbench is Kinetica's notebook environment. All workbooks in Kinetica now have a chat prompt. You can use this prompt to send analytical questions in plain English to ChatGPT. This will return a SQL query block that is added to your worksheet. Here, we have asked GPT to identify the total taxi drop-offs by each cab vendor to JFK Airport in New York City. It returns a query that identifies the spatial boundary for JFK Airport using the NYCT 2020 table, filters all the records where the drop-off longitude and latitude for a taxi trip was inside this spatial boundary, and finally, the query summarizes the total trip by vendor ID to calculate the total drop-offs to JFK Airport. This is not a simple query to execute, particularly on billion row datasets. But because Kinetica has a highly performant vectorized query engine, you can execute these ad hoc queries on large amounts of data without any additional setup or pre-processing of the data. There are a few things to keep in mind when using this chat feature. The first is that we need to provide ChatGPT with enough context about the data so that it can generate queries that are specific to the tables inside Kinetica. For instance, notice here that ChatGPT has referenced the NYCT 2020 and the taxi trip table. We can provide this context using this configure option. Here I'm describing the taxi trip and neighborhoods table that we queried just now. Behind the scenes, Kinetica also provides GPT with the data definition for each table. The DDL taken together with this description provides enough context to ChatGPT to generate meaningful queries that are specific to the data. In addition to describing the tables, we can also specify comma-separated rules. Rules are a way to further refine query outputs from ChatGPT. These can include things that are specific to Kinetica or your own preferences for how the queries should be constructed. In my experience, the best way to configure rules is by trial and error. Try out a few different prompts and examine the queries that are returned. If you notice that something could be improved, then add that as a rule. For instance, let's delete this rule here that asks ChatGPT to use the full names of neighborhoods and rerun the same prompt we provided it earlier. This time, we get a slightly different query where ChatGPT has used a shortened version of the name. This query will run, but it will not yield the expected result because a neighborhood with this shortened name does not exist in the data. Let's add the rule back. Another thing to note is that there is some variability in the responses that we get from ChatGPT. The same prompts with the same context could yield different results. Similarly, prompts with slightly altered wording can completely change the SQL query that ChatGPT returns. So make sure to check the queries generated to ensure that they make sense and that the results are what you expect. That's it. The next step for you is to write your own prompts to query your own data. Create a workbook using the plus icon on the workbook tab and use the import tab to connect to a data source of your choice. Load this data into Kinetica and start querying it using ChatGPT. And don't forget to configure your chat to get the best results. This workbook is now available with Kinetica as a featured example that you can access for free using Kinetica Cloud. Simply clone the workbook to start querying and editing it. If you've used Kinetica previously, make sure to refresh the examples to get the latest version that includes the ChatGPT prompts and the configuration. Thank you for watching.